My wife a lawyer now, I bet you I get out this contract, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the celebrities that starred in popular reality TV shows, only to see their rising careers or personal lives be negatively affected as a result. You're making this so tough, what would I say? Number 20, John and Kate Gosselin. In 2007, after the success of some specials detailing their lives with sextuplets and twins, John and Kate Goslin secured a long-term series. Originally known as John and Kate Plus 8, the show was a big success for TLC until 2009. Can you clear the air and fill us in on what's going on between you and Kate? Yeah, um, uh, Kate and I have decided to separate. At that point, John and Kate had split and were going through a messy divorce. The show then became a place where a lot of their dirty laundry was aired publicly. Oh, that's just gross. Police interventions, lawsuits, custody battles, and affairs were just some of the issues that were put in the spotlight. Clearly, we had two completely different sets of views on life, on child raising, on everything. After the show ended in 2017, neither John nor Kate Goslin reached the same level of Hollywood fame. Number 19, Gillian McKeith. Arriving in the jungle for the UK's I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here in 2010, Gillian McKeith was seen as a quirky TV presenter. After all, she had hosted various health shows and been obsessed with a certain human bodily function, gaining her infamy. But this TV appearance was bad for her career health. On top of complaining a lot, McKeith became infamous for her dramatically fainting when she was chosen to do a live trial. Oh, 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 oh. Let's get Bobbin. After being voted off, McKeith fell into relative obscurity. She still was willing to give a South African season of the show that made her infamous a try in 2023. However, McKeith was quickly voted off. Number 18, Kelly Price. Starting as a backup dancer for Mariah Carey in 1992, Kelly Price became a breakout star when she released a series of albums and singles from 1998. By 2013, she signed up to feature in the show R&B Divas Los Angeles, a spin-off of R&B Divas Atlanta. Price was criticized for coming across as confrontational and mean. As such, social media was rife with anti-price messages. But we are introducing stuff that took place off camera, which instigated stuff that did happen no, on camera. So what I'm, she's trying to vindicate so what herself I'm saying, and I make know, her I don't need to vindicate. by production. And, no, 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 do you think that I don't need to vindicate is. myself. Shortly after it aired, the singer spoke in interviews that the show's producers skewered her behavior to make her look bad. After one season, Price left the show. She's only had a handful of musical successes since. Number 17, Jane Middlemiss. In the first series of Love Island, a dramatic love triangle between ex-footballer Lee Sharp, model Abby Titmus, and TV presenter Jane Middlemiss emerged. The situation made for a lot of drama and put all three figures firmly in the spotlight. Although Middle Miss won the competition, she didn't find instant success. It might have had something to do with insulting Titmus regularly on the show, something she later described as coming across as a, quote, jealous 12-year-old. It's quite liberating, because when I show up somewhere, I can just be me without having to go, <laughs> hello, yes, I'm, I would like a job, please. I go, yeah, all right, yeah, brilliant. And While she appeared in other programs, Middle Miss's TV appearances became more sporadic after 2013. She instead focused on her passion for yoga before hosting a show on Virgin Radio. Number 16, David Otunga. Nowadays, David Otunga is known as the former wrestler and ex of Jennifer Hudson. Yet back in 2007, he was a lawyer with the prestigious firm Sidley Austin. Otunga threw a curveball at his career prospects when he appeared under the nickname Punk on I Love New York. He actually made it to the final three. Additionally, he quickly found success in the wrestling realm. While reality TV led to small screen fame, it allegedly strained his relationship with the firm. Fortunately for Otunga, he seemed happy to step back from full-time law to pursue his other interests. I went in and uh, I made the biggest decision of my life. Everybody thought I was crazy, but I gave up that dream job at the law firm and people were shocked. Number 15, Courtney Robertson. 
Everyone loves a villain on reality TV. And in season 16 of The Bachelor, that honor fell onto the shoulders of Courtney, I didn't come here to make friends, Robertson. She regularly collided with other contestants by insulting them and being aggressive in the pursuit of Ben Flanick. Hey, hey you. Whoa. In the end, Robertson's approach paid off, and she was proposed to. But after the show, Robertson received lots of negative messages from fans. She claimed she even had to shut off a modeling email account due to the flood of hate. We all came here for the, the same reason, for Ben, and I'm sorry for the things I've said, and if I've hurt your feelings, any, anyone, everyone, I'm really sorry for that. I hope you guys can find it in your hearts to forgive me. In the end, the engagement was broken off, and Robertson backed away from TV, but made the best of her setbacks by writing a best-selling book about her experiences. Number 14. Carly Redd Many people have used reality shows as a stepping stone to their goal of becoming an actor. And that was the case for Carly Redd when she signed on for Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. While on the show, she became known for clashing with castmates and stirring the pot. After becoming known as an antagonist, she tried to audition for a Tyler Perry project. According to Red, producers rejected her based on her reality career, and she claims that wasn't the only instance of being turned down due to her past. Red's most high-profile acting role has been on the soap opera Saints and Sinners. If she had never appeared on Love & Hip Hop, it's possible she might have nabbed even more notable roles. How much longer do you see yourself doing Love & Hip Hop? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just taking it? it day at a time. And I, I love it. And it's a great platform for my stores. Mm -hmm. Number 13, Omarosa Manigault Newman. With Omarosa, it's either her way or it's no way. Prior to appearing on The Apprentice, Newman worked in Vice President Al Gore's office. But her public image shifted after this reality appearance. During the show, Newman seemingly sparked a working relationship with Donald Trump. They went on to collaborate on several projects like the infamous Celebrity Apprentice. Her rivalry with Pierce Morgan and abrasive style caused her to be publicly disliked. I knew his weak spots, and I exploited them. The mother of your children hates you, Pierce, and your children hate you, Pierce. They're embarrassed by you. Leave my kids out of it. On a larger scale, Newman was hired to work within Trump's White House, but things spiraled for her after she was fired from the administration. Newman went on to take a number of public shots against Trump. At this point, it's unclear if she can regain the reputation she had before teaming up with him on reality TV. Number 12. Chris Bukowski After appearing on season 8 and then returning in season 10 of The Bachelorette, Chris Bukowski popped up in Bachelor Pad and multiple seasons of Bachelor in Paradise. But his time in the series wasn't all sunshine and fun. Bukowski had spoken about the strain that being labeled as a villain of reality TV has put on him. I mean, I don't know Chris, but like he's done other shows, you know, Bachelor and Bachelor Pad. I don't know his motives, but uh, through the grapevine, I heard he's not a great guy. I hope he's not thinking about stealing anybody's women. At one point, he felt unable to run a restaurant due to the emotional and mental toll of being an entertainment star. After quitting the franchise for several years, Bukowski focused on other career goals. He eventually returned to win season 6 of Bachelor in Paradise. But for a time, Bukowski's career was in serious jeopardy. Number 11. Tyga At one point, Tyga was one of the hottest up-and-coming rappers around. But in 2014, rumors circulated that the mid-20s rapper was in a relationship with the 16-year-old Kylie Jenner. The age of consent in California is 18. By the time the couple officially confirmed their relationship two years later, Tyga began appearing on Keeping Up With The Kardashians. The show drew more attention to their criticized relationship. It got worse when an underage girl accused Tyga of contacting her repeatedly in 2016. After breaking up with Jenner in 2017 and leaving the show, Tyga's music career floundered and hasn't quite recovered to what it once was. It was a relationship. Mm. Yeah, cool. That was in front of the world, and that was it. Number 10. Heidi Montag Bursting into the reality sphere with Laguna Beach, The Real Orange County, and The Hills, Heidi Montag's relationship with Lauren Conrad resonated with fans. But that all changed when Spencer Pratt joined the cast and started dating Montag. 
Over time, the relationship drove a wedge between the friends. Fans quickly grew sick of Montag and Pratt because the duo argued often. Additionally, Conrad accused the pair of starting a rumor that she had made an intimate video. By the time Pratt admitted to doing so later, the Montag-Conrad friendship was broken beyond repair. I want to forgive you, and I want to forget you. Yeah. Well, this it was great seeing you. The apartment looks great, and I hope you have a great life. Montag and Pratt have toyed with the public about their relationship and appeared on several reality shows together since then. But their success outside of that specific TV format has been relatively limited. Number 9. Mark Bannerman In his early days, Mark Bannerman's acting career looked to be taking off. He spent two years as a regular on UK soap opera EastEnders and followed it with the spin-off show Footballer Wives Extra Time. But everything fell apart when Bannerman entered the jungle in 2007 for I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. Although he was shown getting romantic with fellow contestant Karis Matthews, he was dating Sarah Matraverse at the time. Never. After being the first to be voted off, his relationship with Matraverse and his reputation were left in tatters. Bannerman's career never recovered. This is, it's kind of, it's, it's torturous really. So, uh, I've had enough. It just seems like he's gone completely insane. Instead, he appeared in odd episodes of TV shows, films, and in a landscape of lies, a movie reportedly made as part of a tax fraud scheme. Number eight, Chad Johnson. You know, we're getting ready to get married. You ready? How do you feel about it? I am stoked. If only Chad Ochocinco Johnson had left his temper on the football field. Problems started for Johnson, a then star in the National Football League, when he struck up a relationship with Evelyn Lozada, a cast member of the drama-filled reality series Basketball Wives. The two quickly tied the knot, but people were shocked when Chad was accused of headbutting Evelyn during an argument. The popular wide receiver, who once changed his name to Ocho Cinco to match the number 85 on his jersey, now charged with headbutting his wife of just over a month, Evelyn Lozada. Unsurprisingly, this spelled the end of the marriage, not to mention Ocho Cinco's career in the NFL. I don't know that this is working for the benefit of you, me, the Miami Dolphins, or anybody else. It's also probably safe to say he won't be making any reality TV appearances in the foreseeable future. Number 7. Chris Humphreys In the spring of 2011, Chris Humphreys was on top of the world. Not only was he a breakout player on the New Jersey Nets, but he was also engaged to perhaps the most famous celebrity around, Kim Kardashian. There's all sorts of tension between Kim and I. If we're fighting like this the day of the wedding, she will not be able to find me. How things can change. Sure, Chris and Kim's wedding was an extravagant two-part special on E!, causing a media frenzy in the process, but the holy union only lasted a measly 72 days, making it one of the shortest in Hollywood history. I would make jokes. I'd come out every night and I'd say, they've been married 72 <laughs> days. I said, I, I got the uh, cottage cheese older than 72 days. Mocked relentlessly by late-night hosts and anyone with a Twitter account, Humphreys was no longer a basketball star, but simply that guy who married Kim Kardashian on TV that one time. Um, I think that if, if people know me and they know who I am and what uh, I stand for, you know, I, I think that they'll know that I, I love to give back and I, you know, I'm a fun guy and, you know, I don't really play into all the gossip and things that take place, but, you know, that's, it's life. Number six, Adrian Bailone Houghton. Adrian Bailone Houghton carved out a name for herself as an actor and singer with Disney Channel's franchise The Cheetah Girls. She soon found herself in the reality limelight when she began dating Rob Kardashian in 2007. As a result, she appeared in their show Keeping Up With The Kardashians. Although they broke up a couple of years after he cheated, her brief appearance in the show tarnished Bailone Houghton's career. During one interview, she claimed that the show even harmed her working prospects. I just, I'm really gonna miss you. There was a time when she only acted in music videos and small productions. But in 2013, Bailone Houghton began hosting The Real, which earned her several awards as she found a new role as a host. Number 5. Jessica Simpson Okay, so Jessica Simpson isn't the only pop star to get a bad rap on reality TV. But while others, like Britney Spears, were able to overcome their toxic TV experiences, Simpson was not so lucky. It didn't help that the show, Newlyweds Nick and Jessica, 
really put Simpson's naive personality on display, playing up her dumb blonde persona. I didn't know to have expectations going into marriage. I just kind of thought it was the fairy tale. You kiss your groom, you say I do, and you live happily ever after, and the shoe always fits. <laughs> but there's some days when your foot swells. <laughs> Perhaps the most famous example of this comes when Jessica, snacking from a chicken of the sea tuna can, questions what it is she's actually eating. Baby, you and I have eaten tuna like this before. Why is it called chicken by the sea or in the sea? Chicken of the Sea is the brand. Oh. And to be fair, Simpsons' then-husband Nick Lachey didn't fare much better when the show and their relationship ended. But hey, at least they got to kick off that MTV relationship curse. Thanks for cooking, babe. Mm -hmm. That looks very, very good. It's stressful cooking. Number four, Hulk Hogan. Well, I don't have a problem with people looking at her, at my daughter. I just, I don't want any idiots around. I just want to let everybody know. Curfew is 8 o'clock. He's body slammed a giant, battled an ultimate warrior, and led a new world order. But the one thing that Hulk Hogan was unable to conquer? Reality TV. The VH1 series Hogan Knows Best put the spotlight on the Hulkster's family life, including his relationship with then-wife Linda. The couple's problems became obvious throughout the show, however, leading to a nasty divorce shortly after its cancellation. No, you turn around and you act like I'm supposed to take care of everything here in the house. I'm supposed to handle the kitchen, the damn bills, the phone's ringing, you know. Making matters worse, Hogan's son Nick got in a car accident, seriously injuring his friend and landing him jail time. According to Hulk himself, the show exasperated the family's troubles. Apparently, Hogan didn't quite know best when agreeing to a reality show. My back's what you do this. I get sweat off your back. Number three, Kanye West. Did anyone really expect Kanye West to not appear on Keeping Up with the Kardashians? It's no secret that West loves the spotlight. You know what's fire about that and just why we're so blessed is like to be able to get the mentors. Like that means the universe really wants this to happen. Like it's beautiful, it's like your dad. Yeah. Whether it's giving an impromptu performance on the SNL stage or crashing an award show acceptance speech, Kanye is all about, well, Kanye. And so, popping up on his then-wife's mega-hit reality show was inevitable. But shouldn't I just keep this for, like, my daughter one day? Sometimes yes. silence is the best response. Unfortunately, many said his appearances on the program led to overexposure, taking his status down a notch. Though his subsequent controversial behavior off the show also contributed to this, his mental health issues shouldn't be ignored either. There's no denying that numerous fans and critics wished the rapper would lay off the show altogether, however. Got a conversation going right here. So Spirit's saying, with you, I gotta worry about heart problems with you later on. Yeah. Fried chicken. Number two, Caitlyn Jenner. Hey, pretty. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> hey, baby. I didn't know you were here. You Where did you so just pretty. sneak in? Hey, Grandma. Upon her public arrival and subsequent exit from Keeping Up with the Kardashians, Caitlyn Jenner became a strong voice for the often voiceless, championing the transgender community on her own reality show, I Am Kate. Caitlyn was a renowned inspiration. That all changed, however, when Jenner revealed that she was a Ted Cruz and President Trump supporter. Just because I'm a woman now doesn't make me all of a sudden liberal. Caitlyn's fans found her opinions to be hypocritical, especially considering Cruz was a vocal supporter of the controversial anti-trans bathroom bills. Angry and disappointed, viewers stopped watching in droves, and I Am Kate got cancelled after only two short seasons. Did no one tell Caitlyn that with great power comes great responsibility? They're not my people if they're against this issue. So big deal. I'm, I'm not like cheering them on. You are. You're voting for Ted Cruz. You're cheering him on. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Lamar Odom Lamar Odom was a well-respected player for the Los Angeles Lakers when he started dating Khloe Kardashian and appearing regularly on her family's popular reality series. And it's now my privilege to ask, who gives this woman to be married to this man? My wife Chris and I. 
It wasn't long before the couple spun off their own show, launching themselves into celebrity power couple territory. Like, is it like a tease? Big time. That's how I feel. I think it's a tease, too. It's like no point to get too mm -mm. comfortable. Things quickly fell apart, however, when Chloe filed for divorce amid infidelity rumors, and Lamar went down a dark rabbit hole of substance use disorder that nearly cost him his life. Could you even fathom what, what your body had been through? No, I mean, I really still can't. All my doctors say I'm a walking miracle. No longer with the NBA, Odom has been fighting an uphill battle to get his life back on track ever since. If we've learned anything, it's that perhaps dating a Kardashian can be hazardous to one's health. Which celebrity career actually improved due to being on reality TV? Let us know in the comments. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.